The punches keep coming at Netflix. Today, Dish launched its own Netflix competitor, a blockbuster-branded movie rental service that offers streaming, DVDs, and video games all in one. The timing couldn't be better for Dish. Netflix is still dealing with thousands of angry customers after raising prices and splitting its streaming and DVD service. Netflix stock has lost more than half its value in the last two months, plummeting from $300 a share in July to just $130 a share. But Dish's new service isn't as aggressive as some were expecting. It's available only to Dish subscribers for now. I sat down with Dish CEO Joe Clayton and asked him if the new service can really be a competitor to Netflix. Well, I don't think it's just a competitor to Netflix. Uh, uh, you know, Netflix is a great uh, company providing movies. Hulu provides TV shows. We think we can do all of the above with a very integrated focus, cost-effective video entertainment package. So that's what we're trying to take to the buying public today. Why are you just offering this to Dish subscribers only now? Why not everyone like Netflix and Hulu? Well, first of all, we have the content already existing from our Dish Corporation because we have over 14 million uh, customers. Um, and we've been in the process of, of acquiring more streaming content and basic video content uh, uh, over the last few years, and we will continue to do that. But we think with our satellite service and the Blockbuster Movie Pass, we offer the best of all worlds to the, to the buying public. So it's, it's just not one or the other, it's everything combined. So how did you determine the pricing for this? It's clearly cheaper than Netflix's DVD and streaming service combined, but the streaming content still isn't there yet. Well, that will increase over time, but let's, let's put it together. Let's start with the customer. That's how we think at, at Dish no, Network. The uh, DVD by mail service today is roughly about eight bucks uh, with Netflix. Uh, the streaming service is about eight bucks. Uh, we also offer games, which our competitor is going to add. That's, let's call it two bucks. And uh, then in terms of Blu-ray uh, disc, which we offer free, two bucks. And the good Holy Sisters taught me how to count, so I think that adds to $20 per month. So do you need to get more content to woo non-dish subscribers? And what kind of negotiation do you see yourself doing going forward with the studios? I think we're going to need additional content, not only on the dish side, but also for Blockbuster as well. And it's, it's going to uh, be expensive because programming costs are going up. That's no secret. But we can leverage our 14 million subscriber base that we currently have. So we do have some leverage and some experience uh, with our studio partners. You've said in the past you want to take a piece of the Netflix pie. How big a piece do you think you can get? I'll take just a little piece to start off with, uh, you know, and then maybe a, a bigger slice. I mean, the timing works out for you, doesn't it? I mean, the timing couldn't have been better for you with all the negative publicity surrounding Netflix, right? Well, you know, they, there's a saying, no amount of planning replaces good old luck, so we'll take luck. Uh, but we're also, uh, speed's an asset, and uh, if you're a good marketeer, you should take advantage as opportunities, uh, you know, avail themselves. and. We're here in San Francisco today to avail ourselves of an opportunity. What's your view on Netflix CEO Reed Hastings splitting the streaming and the DVD business? Does that make sense to you or is that a surprise? It was a little surprise to us. Um, but that being said, uh, we really don't have any plans to do that uh, at this particular point in time. And actually, I think it plays to our strength because I believe Blockbuster, the brand which means family and movies to Main Street America is going to be more recognized than Quickster. A lot of Netflix customers are very angry. Is Netflix making a mistake by not listening to them? Well, you should always listen to your customers. Um, I can't speak uh, for Netflix or for, for their CEO. Um, I have no apologies to make. I'm just going to say we're going to do our own thing and uh, try to listen to the customer and, and give them what they want. You've mentioned Hulu as a competitor. Does this take you out of the running for buying Hulu, or would a, a Hulu dish marriage be even more pow powerful? We look at everything on the uh, on the video landscape, uh, uh, Hulu included. Uh, so, uh, if if something is going to change the uh, the dynamics of the marketplace, we're going to look at it. But you and Charlie Ergen have both said, you know, you're still looking for the central piece to your new concept of what. Dish Network is. Is that Hulu? Is that a Dish Wireless Network? What is that missing piece? I think it's it's more than just one thing. I think it's about uh, infrastructure for wireless. I think it's about distribution. 
uh, for video content and branding, which we've talked about today with, with Blockbuster, and maybe some additional technology. But I think it's, it's all of the above. It's just not one thing. Should we expect DISH to come out with a wireless network of its own? Well, I'll just tell you what we used to say in the broadcast TV business, which you're in. Just stay tuned. Okay, so what are you looking for DISH to become? I mean, what's your strategy here? Where are you going? I think we have to be more than just a pay TV uh, provider. Uh, the pay TV market is becoming saturated. The days of double-digit growth are over. We'll still experience single-digit growth uh, as new home formations begin, but we have to expand our base. Uh, we're looking at broadband, uh, especially uh, broadband satellite, and additional services that will complement our, our core business, which is a pay TV service. Clayton also talked about the possibility of adding a wireless network to use the spectrum it got in deals this year. Clayton said Dish may consider buying or partnering with a wireless carrier like Sprint or Clearwire to fill in those missing pieces.